and a bill that uh, could change the way you vote in the next election. Some of the expanded voting measures we saw in the 2020 election could become a part of our elections in the future. L. Smith is breaking down what that means for all of us. It's all about election security and expanding access. And according to Secretary of State Michael Adams, HB 574 is about finding the balance between those two things. Uh, you see some people just want to have access and no security or just security and no access. You need both. And they actually work pretty well together. The bill calls for in-person voting for an additional three days, the Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before Election Day. Ballots would have to be received by the end of Election Day and also counted that night. You've got four days now instead of one to go vote, including a Saturday. That's a game changer, especially for working people. It allows for people to cast their ballots at voting centers, which don't have to be located within their precinct. It also has an online portal, which will allow the secretary's office or county clerks to monitor any improprieties. An aspect bill sponsor, Representative Jennifer Decker, says is necessary to protect elections. We know when it arrives at their home. We know when it leaves their home. It's, it's scanned each time, so we know where the ballot is. That's another layer of security. While HB 574 adds options, Adams insists it would not have passed had supporters secured more early voting or absentee opportunities. The plan is on Governor Bashir's desk, and right now he has eight days to sign or veto it. If he does sign it, the next election that these rules could impact is next year. For WHAS 11 News, I'm Elle Smith.